shit. Woo! That's how quick they can go out. to do another catch and cook episode. I'm, I'm, I'm headed out to meet Rob right now. We're going to the beach. And we're gonna go offshore somewhere and try to catch something big. And then it's bands on the beach tonight, so I think I'm gonna show you all that in this video too. Because there's supposed to be a pretty good band out there. A fellow Hobie kayaker right there. That's what I'm talking about. Looks like he's got an old school outback up there. All right, guys, I just pulled up here at the uh, Casino Beach. It's got park. Rob's up here waiting on me. He's mad I'm late. But the traffic was horrible. They decided to do the construction work in the middle of beach season and change the whole flow of traffic. It's crazy, but we're ready now. So these drags right here are why I like this quest. Got a long ways to go and it's really light. It's not the most stable thing in the world, but it gets the job done. Especially when you gotta go all the way down there. That's a fact, Jack. Wow, it's nice. Got one. I think it's a hard. I think it's a hard tail. I can get you in the boat here. Sometimes you just gotta cast. You never know what you're gonna actually find down there. You don't think anything's down there, and then all of a sudden there he is. Boom! Bait in the boat. These little guys are actually pretty fun to catch. They they fight really hard. They live a long time. Actually, you can keep them alive right there as long as their mouth's almost submerged, and they make great bait. They're easy to catch, especially when you can't find scar minnows. So, let's tunk him out there. So he's back there. Something's hitting. Thought something hit him. I think it's just him running away. But back to what I was saying is that uh, I'm just gonna throw him back there. I just got a treble hook on there. Hopefully something hit him. I actually see another fish over there. Gotta go. All right, guys, so I got this king hooked up right here. I thought the camera was on, but it wasn't. My fault. Try this again. Thought I had it on. Pretty nasty little critter here. The shark don't get him. Woo! That's how quick they can go out. That's why you gotta have your uh, drag really loose on these bad boys. Then take your time with them. You're not gonna beat the kayak. Two pound steel, 60 pound mono, and one treble hook. Sharks will wind up hammering this guy.
This is where knots can get sticky, everybody. I'm not gonna be able to let him go. Swallowed the hook. That is a Pensacola King Mac. Whew. Wish you could have seen the first part of that fight. Thought I had the camera on, but this camera doesn't beep. I got I took it off for hunting and I forgot to turn it back on. So sometimes I don't know when it's on. And I was gonna let this guy go, but he swallowed the hook, so he inhaled it. And it's only like, I've been out here maybe 15 minutes. I'm literally not even half the distance of the pier. See, end of the pier, half the pier. People think you gotta go deep. Not when it's warm. So, not real sure what I'm gonna do with this one. I could stick him in the hole, but I just got out here. I'll figure it out. See you guys in a little bit. Since I'm out here and I've already got my big fish and I just got out here, I want to show you my Hawaiian spear gaff. See this? This is what I dispatch these big guys with. It makes a quick, simple one stab right behind the eyeball and you got them. And you don't have to fight these big toothy critters when you get them in the, in the boat. Just a little easier makes things simple and you can just dispatch them really easy like that and it's very humane but it does put blood in the water as you can see so i'm going to go back in now see you guys in a little bit i'm going to show you bands on the beach here in a little bit it's going to be right at that it's going to be at that pavilion right there it's going to be amazing there's going to be an awesome band and you just need to check it out Whew. Yeah, I got me a big king. Awesome. That was out there like 15 minutes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he swallowed the hook. I couldn't let him go. And this one's about, I don't know, like oh, 30, 25 pounds maybe. Hey, that's pretty as hell. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. We caught him like, so not even 50 yards out there. Does it, does it taste good? So what kind? Yeah. This is a king mackerel. Okay. King mackerel. Yeah. Okay. Hey, 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 we ain't gonna hold you up, brother. All right. Hey, Take you care. good, my man. All right. Have a great night. Well done, you too. All right, guys, so I got something for you. Check this bad boy out. It's gonna be king mackerel for days. <sighs> For those of you that have never been out here and it's really hard to fish because there's so much traffic and you got to lug it a long ways but if you've got a light kayak if you can get out to the pier that's where it's at don't get too close because they'll throw cookie jigs at you but it gets that little swift uh, you know, all the bait fish kind of get pulled off of that pier and it's king mackerel for days Shh, don't tell nobody so i found rob here fished all day not one bite he's packing up he didn't catch nothing i did him in in 10 minutes one bait one fish two days in a row yeah he, he don't have much to say he don't have much to say about that so rob was pulling uh frozen cigar <laughs> frozen mullet or frozen cigar minnows frozen mullet today and i had a live hardtail both days that was the winning ingredient over the frozen gotta have live and these were doozy hardtails they were studs they were they were 12 inches now they weren't probably but they were hog legs hog leg hardtails <laughs> Thank you.
All right, guys, so we we're about to cook the king mackerel. We're over at my parents' house, and I have Samantha here, and she is going to walk you through how we're going to cook this king mackerel. Okay, guys, so for the smoked king mackerel, we created a concoction that has apple, celery, ginger, some spices, tonies, red pepper flakes, um, some lime juice, oranges that I squeezed and then chopped up and put in there. So lots of good stuff in there. We're excited to get it going. Now, is this, is this gonna be like aroma from those? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be good. We are smoking it using pecan bark chips from Jack's parents pecan tree so homegrown right there we're excited so in here we have celery a big onion um, an orange that I've juiced and sliced up a little bit of lime and some spices Looks good. and an apple yeah I got an apple all kinds of and cool some ginger in oh ginger and, and some ginger so we kind of just threw what we had through the kitchen sink at it so should get lots of flavor so i didn't have a uh um, a smoker box so i had to make one y'all gonna laugh at this I had to make one out of a lim or a steel can green beans got my wood chips in there and i soaked them they didn't get soaked very long but i'm just winging this because i just pulled this thing out of the garage and i got the uh the element heating up right now so check back with you in a second and this stuff will be cooking So now we're going to go and get the fish. We're just going to put a light seasoning on it and chunk it in here and let it ride. I think it's going to taste good. All right, so what are you doing with the seasoning here? All right, first we're going to do a little seasoned salt. Okay. Or season all seasoned salt. Garlic powder. garlic pepper and then just regular salt so lightly seasoning the fillets and hopefully some of that flavor from the big vegetable fruit bowl from under it will give it some more flavor All right, so we're just gonna redo it all again, season the other side, and then we're gonna cover it and let it go for a few hours. Yeah. All right, last but not least, a little squeeze of lime on the fillets. We'll just drop them down there, give a little flavor. Can't waste them. Don't mind one fillet that fell. <laughs> you got one fillet way down there on the bottom right. It's been, it's been exactly one hour. one hour. We ate dinner, and then now we ate dinner early, like four o'clock. And then now we're fixing to check it. Is it all right, Bella? It's smoking a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's smoking. All right, let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Ooh it's, a, it's looking good. Oh, it smells it delicious. Smells great. Yeah, it is kind of firm. You can really smell the oranges and the celery and the pecan with water. Like, you can smell it all. You can smell it all. All right, here's the, the first piece right here. Tastes really good. It's got that fruity, celery, apple-y, awesome taste to it. What do you think, Samantha? Very good flavor. It has like a subtle, fruity, smoky, pecan-y flavor. Not too strong, but just enough to like give it a little background flavor. So it's awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. The fish turned out awesome. I would totally do the recipe again. We just came up with it on the fly. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and on Facebook at Yak Motley. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because we've been doing these a lot. We're gonna to continue to do more of these. And I hope to see you guys next time. See you later.